Yeah, for the round table, please. Thank you. Okay, November Bravo Zero. Oscar wants the round table and WB Zero YCQ is uh, limited time, uh, Jerry, if you didn't copy. Um, any other California stations? Over. Kilo 6, Foxtrot November India, Jackson. Kilo 6, Romeo, or Foxtrot November India, I should say. Kilo 6, FNI. Uh, hi, Robert, and you're going to stick around, over? Okay, very good. Good to hear you on, Robert. Anybody else from California? N6 DVH. N6, is that Delta Bravo or Delta Victor Hotel? Delta Victor Hotel, N6 DVH, Jim, uh, Fresno County. Well, you got a big signal, Jim, <laughs> from Fresno. So, uh, are you just a uh, limited time? You're going to stick around, Jim? Uh, I'll be out here in the shop work. Can you go ahead? Okay, he's going to stick around for the round table. Jerry, you keeping up okay? Over. Uh, yeah, so far, uh, the last station, I've got November, and I've missed the, the number. i got the UH, uh, November something. November 6th, Delta Victor Hotel. Over. Delta Victor Hotel, and I confirm he is on the round table. Uh, affirmative, in Fresno County. Roger, roger. Just go ahead and continue, Tom. California. Okay. Yeah, this is M6 DJ. And once again, calling any stations in California for the round table. Over. Whiskey Charlie, six kilo. Whiskey Charlie, six kilo. Got you. Uh, who is the other station? November X-ray, six delta. And November X-ray, six delta. Got you. Any other California? Jerry, you want to give a California call? Over. I mean, not Jerry, it's Stan, I'm sorry. Affirmative, this is AA6SC, Southern Relay for the Jefferson New Net today. Are there any additional check-ins from the state of California? California check-ins, come now. Nothing hurt, somebody's up above at 7205, but uh, nothing hurt. Back to you, Tom, in 6TJM from AA6SC. Okay, just to be sure, how about you doing it too, Val? Check-in. Oh, go ahead, check-in. Thank you. This is Mike in Ohio. KF6ZOL. Can you give me that phonetically, please? Sure. Kilo Fox Trot 6, Zulu Ocean Lima. KF6ZOL. I remember you from before. What was your name and location? The name is Mike, and I'm in Ohio, California. Oh, okay. That's why I remember you. Live down there near Chuck. KF6ZOL. Mike, you going to hang around for the round table? Now I got things to do, but I'm right behind Chuck, so I can throw a stone at him, probably hit him, but I'll probably, he's probably like at a lawsuit if I had. Hi, hi. He'll never feel it. <laughs> okay, we'll get back to you in a bit then. Thanks, Mike. Okay, any other California stations before I send it up to Val? This is WB6JNN in San Jose, Willie Baker 6, Juliet, November, November, testing 1, 2, 3, 4. This is an SK1A, which is a 5-watt, 40-meter uh, single-band unit, QRP, CW, and sideband, and this is a test of the sideband capability, audio-wise, and we'll play that back for you in a minute. This is WB6JNN in San Jose, Willie Baker 6, Juliet, November, November. Testing one, two, three, four. This is an SK1A, which is a 5 watt, 40 meter uh, single band unit, QRP, CW, and sideband. And this is a test of the sideband capability audio wise, and we'll play that back for you in a minute. Now, as you can see from this uh, spectrum that I've uh, taken from the uh, editing program that I use, which is Audacity. Uh, we have about uh, 20 to 25 dB between the high frequencies in my voice and the low frequencies in my voice, as shown by this graph. Um, this is probably okay, but it uh, and it more or less follows what my voice is truly like without any equalization. However, it also uh, would be more uh, there would be more clarity if you had a little bit 
more highs or actually uh, cut in the lows. In fact, if you could take 400 hertz uh, down about 10 dB or maybe even 15 dB, you would get a little bit more punch in the audio on this uh, unit. But of course, it, this is a relatively inexpensive unit and does not have any equalization. And the mic that comes with it uh, also is not um, particularly strong in the highs as well. So that might be something you may want to work on by uh, adjusting the capacitor values or something like that in this uh, uh, UKIT device. But uh, it's adequate and uh, does the job. I've taken another uh, slice of life, so to speak, here by speaking into the SK dash 1A uh, QRP rigs uh, uh, microphone. Uh, what we have here is just the microphone keyed up with no audio. You can see there's some background noise being picked up as typical. This is a switching transient on switching the mic on or off. This is the carrier. It's at uh, 7199950, so it's fairly close to frequency. Um, the blue here is the uh, envelope of the uh, audio frequency range, in other words, the bandwidth of the thing. I have it set to, for this one and this one, I have it set to 100 hertz uh, bandwidth on the spectrum analyzer. It's 10 kilohertz across the screen here. And uh, so we see that we're down uh, 20 dB, well, 20 dB down is uh, reasonable. This stuff is uh, also 20 dB down. It's a little marginally wide on that side and on that side, but um, uh, not any worse than somebody overdriving a linear amplifier, I, I suspect. But anyway, it is a little on the wide side. So probably you should use this as a QRP rig only, not with an amplifier. Um, the top line here, I put it back to 30 kilohertz to look at the PEP as I talked. And as you can see uh, on uh, number one here, uh, we're up there at, uh, let's see what it is here. Marker 1's at 4.02 watts PEP. So there you go. Um, that's... Uh, PEP, because I have a 30 kilohertz wide getting everything here, certainly well beyond the 10 kilohertz. Uh, this is uh, 100 hertz, so this shows the uh, audio response and any distortion that's there. And then the uh, purple here is just uh, no modulation, but uh, this is the leakage of the uh, carrier here at number two.